Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56, and welcome back to episode, I believe it's 6, of our Stationers playthrough on Mars. So in the last episode, we uh, were starting to get our main base put together. Um, I think what I want to do is, instead of having to go out and mine a whole bunch of resources all the time, I think what I want to work on is getting a mining platform built. So I think, uh, or what I'm thinking right now, is to build the mining platform alongside our atmospherics right here. And then um, I'm going to place a couple of deep miners to just drill infinite ore. It'll drill everything except ice, so we won't get volatiles, oxide, or just normal ice for water. Um, but we'll get all the other ores, and then we shouldn't have to really go out mining ever again, which will be kind of nice because I feel like that's not the funnest thing to watch. Um, this episode, though, we are definitely going to have to make a couple of mining trips. And I'm going to need... I have a whole list of resources that, that I need. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, we need a bunch of steel, a bunch of iron, copper, and gold. We don't really need anything else, which is kind of nice. So, I think we have about 89 steel. We're going we're gonna to need way more than that. Although, with the 89 steel, let's take that out. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to split this up. Yeah, we're just going to put... And this is all going to be um, steel sheets. Okay, steel sheets. We don't have a storm incoming, so we're good. Uh, we'll put you there. This steel... I don't really need this pick. There goes the pick. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to go on a mining trip for just a bunch of things. Um, I need, I, I want to get at least 400 steel. That should be plenty to build everything I need. Ish. I guess we'll find out. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to, eh, I'll be fine. Let's go find some iron. I can't really remember where all of my uh, deposits were. Yeah, and it's been a few days since I last streamed. I actually have not been feeling very good, so... I still don't feel great right now either, but I've really been wanting to play, so here we are. Alright, so I just need a lot of iron. And we have copper here too, so that will serve a dual purpose because I also need a bunch of copper and I need a bunch of gold too because I'm going to make a sorting system as well. I really don't need oxide, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if this is all the copper that there is here. I was hoping there'd be more, but that's fine. I think it's just mixed in with the oxide. Alright, and then we have even more uh, iron here too. I'm not going to go all the way back now. Let's just do it like this. There we go.
Okay, let's get some more iron, or not iron, but copper. I'm gonna have to get rid of all this oxide that I'm grabbing too. Yeah, I really hope this episode isn't just me mining the entire time. That'd be horrible. I don't think it will be. This miner is pretty, pretty quick. Which is why I'm very thankful that we have it. But yeah, I want to... There's at least 10 um, resources that you can mine. So I'm going to have to have like 10 stackers, 10 sorters. I'll probably only need like 5 miners, honestly. Um, but yeah. I need to get rid of some of this ice because I, I already have one full stack of iron so that's good I think the next time I play I'll probably play with one of the ore mods that you get uh, probably a full stack from one node just so we don't have to go out and mine all the time but I also feel like that's completely cheating because there's things in the game to get ore a lot quicker like the miners I think we got most of the copper here, so I think we're good copper-wise. It's also just a massive hole right there. Okay, let's get the rest of this middle section mined out, and then we'll go look for some more resources. There we go. Yeah, I think we got pretty much everything. There's a little bit of iron left down there, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, let's go find some more stuff. I think what I want to do is our base is right there. I want to go to this mountain over here. I think there's still a bunch of resources along that mountain. <laughs> I'm hoping. Let's see here. Come on, where's the iron at? Oh. I'm gonna need all you. Here, let's throw this in there like that. We'll throw all these full stacks in here. There. Alright, that's copper. Gold. Coal and coal. I only need two stacks of coal for 400 <laughs> iron. Copper up here.
I really wish I had those sensor lenses. They'd be very useful right now. Oh well. I'll get them eventually, but then by then I won't really need them. Okay, and we have some gold over here. Ooh, let's throw... I don't have anything full. <coughs> Alright, here, we have some more gold over here. We have a lot of gold over here. I really don't need that much gold, um, unless I'm talking about the silos, then they require a lot of gold. I don't think I'm going to do the silos quite yet. I'll probably just make a couple of uh, chutes or baskets that I can just collect all the ore in. I do want to do the, uh, the sorters and the stackers though, so I don't have to... Um, what am I trying to think of here? I'll just have like one or two ores per stack and have it fill up really quick. All right, so let's let's move the coal up here and collect all of this uh, coal that's just lying around, like that. There we go. All right. Yeah, we should have plenty of gold. I'm not too worried about gold. I'm more worried about uh, copper and iron. Cause I'm gonna need a bunch of copper and a bunch of iron and a bunch of, a bunch of steel too. All right, we almost have a full stack of gold. which is pretty sweet. All right, and there's our full stack of gold. We'll pick those up and then we'll get out of here. All right, so let's return most of this to back to our base. I'm gonna put all of our oxide in our oxygen system. And then I probably should make another locker to hold all of our stuff. <coughs> I wonder how our plants are doing. Wait a minute. Why is our potato, not not our potato. Why is it? Why does our tomato plant look like that? Okay, so that looks good there. You know what I might do? I do have a locker in there. I need another locker, I think, just for our ores. Well, I'll do this right now. Oh God. All right, that was kind of a little too close. Um, I believe the pressure in the pipes can only be at uh, 10 megapascals, otherwise they blow up. So yeah, that was kind of a little too close right there. Okay, let's swap our battery out since we're low on power. There we go. All right, let's go investigate these uh, tomatoes. Thriving towards fruiting. 
I thought there was an actual plan here. That's slightly concerning. Mmm, potatoes. Alright, let's take that. Well, that looks good. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's happening with our uh, tomatoes there. Alrighty. Let's put that back in there. I really need to get rid of some of these ices that I have. Let's see. Gold ore. Six hundred. 600 Kelvin. Alright, so I should be able to process this gold ore. That temperature is going up. Well, that's good. So we'll process this. Alright, so we have gold. Uh, what does copper need? 600. Okay, so copper is the same. Alright, so we have copper, we have gold. Um, where should I put this stuff? Ooh. You know what, I'm just gonna put all my stuff in here for now. Okay. So let's go mine some iron and coal. So I need a lot more iron and a lot more coal. I'm also going to have to go get another filter here pretty soon too for our nitrogen and our uh, carbon dioxide. I also want to make a, a furnace set up where I can uh, capture hot gases and stuff. Okay. Ooh, let's do this. There we go. There we go. So I need two stacks of coal. I have one stack already. That's all the coal right here. Let's see what was up there. Iron. I do need iron. Man, I can't wait to get this thing built. It's going to be so handy to have. And we're also going to be able to generate um, infinite power from it too. Because all the coal that we mine will go directly into a coal generator. Which will just uh, keep it powered. So it will be self-sufficient. Which is kind of cool. Um, let's put this up here. All 
Yeah, I don't think anything fell, so I think we're good. Okay. I need six stacks of coal for 400 steel. Or not six stacks of coal, but six stacks of iron. Yeah, I mainly just need iron, gold, and copper, um, and then coal. Alright, we already have three stacks, so getting another two stacks shouldn't be hard enough. Because we're at 14 on our fourth stack. Yeah, I think the, the first part of this uh, episode is just going to be me mining the whole time. Which I really want to not do anymore, so that's why I'm going to build this mining platform. Yeah, I think we don't have to go out this far anymore. We depleted this deposit, so we'll go find another deposit of iron. <coughs> we actually got quite a bit of ore from there. Is there one in here? Nope, there's nothing there. Let's go up here a little bit more. Cobalt, I don't need cobalt, at least not right now. Besides, I'll eventually have an unlimited supply of it, so... Uh, there's no point in me really mining it right now. There's more cobalt. Hello, iron. I also need coal. Iron and coal. Wish it wasn't nighttime. Ooh, what was that? I don't know. There's our base. Let's see what's on this side of the mountain. I can't really see anything right now. It's too dark. Coal. Oh, and there's iron here too. So it was there. I just couldn't see it. That had yeah. That's a bug of of some sort. I wonder how many resources I was walking past just there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of resources here. There's a bunch of coal too, this is great. Not that I really need a bunch of coal, but I feel like you can never have enough resources. Again. All right, so that's done there. All right, so that's all the coal we need. So we'll grab the, the iron. Okay. Oxygen critical. There, you guys happy? There we 
go. All right. So we're working on our fifth stack of iron, and that should yield us enough copper, uh, or not copper, but once we get all six stacks, that should yield, yield us enough coal, oh my god, steel, <laughs> for uh, our mining platform. Because we already have some leftover steel from earlier. Alright, let's, let's do this here. There we go. us all of the iron. Alright, only one more stack to go. I need one. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got all six stacks of iron, and we have our uh, two stacks of coal. So we should be able to make 200 steel now. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll make the steel, and then we'll probably have to come back out for some more iron, just individual iron, which is fine. But we got the hard part done, I think. It was right there. Yeah, because I need a, I need 55 steel frames um, for the, the layout of the mining. Oh no. Oops. I accidentally kept that going the entire time. All right, there's nothing in here, right? It's empty. Yes, it's empty. Okay, good. We're gonna vent this gas a little bit while it's nighttime. Then we're gonna smelt our 400 steel, and then we're gonna start making our mining uh, platform. All right, so let's put in our iron. <coughs> All right, so that's two. Three. It's four. All right, so that's our six hundred, no, three hundred iron in there, and then I need a hundred coal. All right, perfect. And now let's do He has to hit 900, if I remember correctly. Eight. Come on, we're so close. <laughs> Come on. We need one more. Come on, one more. Nope, you're... Oh, I dropped. Yeah, alright, so...
There it goes. All right, so there's our 400 steel. So now what we're gonna do is I need 55 steel frames, so that's 110 steel. All right. So that's a lot of steel. There it is. Wait. Wreckage. <gasps> oh no. Our window blew out. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's horrible. There was too much pressure in there. Oh, no. Um. I mean, thank God I have this in here. Oh no. That's not, that was bad. All right, that, that's fine right there. Uh, let's grab, Grab a baked potato. My well, my my tomatoes died. Dang it! All right, I have one more tomato seed. I can't afford to. It's because I accidentally left this on. That's why that happened. Oh man, that sucks. Alright, so do not um, accidentally leave your vent on. I need to go back in here anyway in order to... Power low. There we go, okay. Now I feel better. I'm still not a f um, completely happy with food yet. Man, my tomatoes. Oh, that that kind of makes me sad. Oh well. Oh, and we have a storm incoming too. Well, this. We'll just throw. Uh, I need to place some of this stuff. Okay, we'll do this. Here, let's put um, the steel. I don't really know where to put. Here, let's do this. There we go. All right. So we're going to have our mining platform, I think, right here. Three, four, five. One, two, three. And I'm leaving a space right here because this is where our mining drill is going to go. And then same right here. Oops. All 
repair. Something similar to that, and then we'll have a couple more steel frames. So I need more steel frames now. I feel like this is going to blow up. This sounds so sketchy. Well, while we're waiting, we'll grab our uh, welding torch and such. No. Is this thing empty? Huh. Well, that's not good. So what I could do is I could make an arc welder, just uses uh, battery power. The problem with that is, that's what I was afraid of, dang it. I guess I could make it, that wouldn't be that big of an issue. I just need more power. Crap. Okay, so we'll throw this in here. So I need steel, electrum, invar, and solder. Solder, electrum, invar, and steel. So this is not going to last very long, unfortunately. All right, we'll turn that off. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. don't need one right there. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, and then one goes here and there. And then we have another one right here. Yeah, this is going to be a huge mining platform. Um, I plan on having five mining, uh, deep miners right here. <coughs> Also, I, uh, my nitrogen filter has gone away, and I seem to be doing okay still. So I'm wondering if I can just get rid of my nitrogen altogether, and not have to worry about it. That'd be very useful if I could do that. I'm going to take these guys first. Well... I might as well just take all of these. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get very many uh, uses out, out of this 
park welder, but it beats having to make fuel. Oops. Okay, we'll grab some more steel. Wow, that's bright. So I still need nitrogen. All right, perfect. So this platform's basically done. Uh, I, I need to make a few more steel frames for the for the feet, but that's fine. All right, so I have more steel sheets than I actually needed, which is okay. Oh God, we're fine. Our base is over here somewhere. There it is. There's only one more reagent. All right. Let's do this 50 next. All right, it's gonna take a little bit, but that's okay. On the plus side, we're gonna have a bunch of silicone. I also realize that I, I don't have a battery in here right now. Oxygen okay, 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 let me fix this. I need a, um, I te technically I need both. I need nitrogen though. There we go, that should help my lungs. <coughs> okay. So now I need to get everything set up for the deep, for the deep miners. Now for the deep miner, I need 30 steel, 5 invar, and 5 constantin. That's just for one deep miner. And it's made in the auth in the tier 2 autholith. Okay, so I need to actually make the tier 2 mod. Toolprint autholith. I need steel, electrum constantin, and solder. Which, all right, so I have Constantin. So it's all gonna be in this thing, unfortunately. Here, let's put the arc welder away. It's going to be a minute before this gets built. Thankfully, it'll only build one of them since I don't have enough steel for two. So I don't really have to babysit this. All right, we can turn you off to conserve power. 
You know what I else I need is I I need a large another large battery. I guess what I can do is I can take that battery out of there and put it in there. Yeah, that's almost done. There we go. I want this storm to be over. I want to continue our mining, uh, our mining platform. <clears throat> All right, we're at ninety percent. We're almost done with this. I think eventually I'll get all the nitrogen out of here. It's going to be a little bit, but... Uh-oh. That's done. Hang on. Did it go in here? Wait. Oh, there it is. I think I just need a screwdriver, right? Yeah. There it goes. Alright, so... Deep Miner. Yep, 30 steel, 5 invar, and 5 constantin. So, let's see, how many of those can we make? Wait. Oh, that's my water thing. So, steel. I need 5 invar and 5 constantin, which are in this electronics printer right there. So it's 30 steel, so... I could make all five of them right now if I really wanted to. Let's see, what do I need for the stackers? Iron and copper. Iron. So I need a bunch of uh, iron for our sorters and, mother and uh, stackers. So 30, I need 150 steel. For the five. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> uh I think our other stack of uh, steel vanished. Wait, there was 290. I, I, I only needed 150. Okay, can this storm please just go away? Like, seriously. Yeah, I should have more steel somewhere. Well, while we're waiting, I'm gonna have to go look for the other steel that probably blew off, because apparently, Huh, I'm not sure what happened there. So I need Constantin. Yeah, I need Invar and Constantin. I don't really wanna... Well, these guys should be fine. There I go, all right, so the storm just ended. Let's go find that steel that I'm pretty sure got blown away. Maybe I get... Hey, there it is. I was going to say, maybe I got lucky and it's uh, in this hole here. Alright, so there's the steel. Alright, so I need Invar and Constantin. Alright, 
So Constantine and Invar. Now let's make five deep miners. And this is all for like just a bunch of ore. So I, I don't have to constantly go out and mine. So it's going to take a while for these guys to actually get built. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and, well, mine. So I need a bunch of iron, gold, and copper. I, I have a bunch of gold and copper. I'm not too worried about that. It's mainly the iron that I need because I need at least 100 iron for the stackers and another 100 iron for the sorters. Plus I need copper and gold for each one of those as well. So we need quite a few resources. And while we're waiting for that stuff to get made, I can't really do anything else at the moment. So we will go out mining for those resources. Hydration critical. Okay, I probably should go drink some water before I get too far out. Yeah, once I get our, our mining platform up and running, we'll just have resources right there. So it'll be extremely nice not to have to go around mining everything. We can literally just go to the mining platform, grab what we need, and then smelt it. seriously just do that dang it oh wow all right so there's one done so let's go place this in our first slot here. It's actually going to go like this. There we go. And then I, yeah, once this gets completely built, I also need to build a couple of centrifuges um, on each one of these. And then I'll have the sorters right here to sort all the ore that comes through. And then I'll have a couple of stackers. And then um, I, I don't know if I'll get to this, if I'll build the silos right away, but I'm going to have some silos to store all of our ore and stuff in. All right, so let's go find where are all the resources at? There they are. I don't want to mine too close to my base. I wonder if there's a way I can like reload the, the resources or something. Oh well, I'll just do them right here. That's fine. All right, so we have gold, or not gold, coal and iron right here. I really just need the iron. I mean, I'll need steel eventually anyways, but once I get the deep miners up and running, I'll have an infinite amount of all the resources I could ever hope for. then I'm gonna have to fix my solar panels again before I forget although my idea of fixing them is just to dismantle them and rebuild them I think what I'll probably do is I'll build the sorters first and then I'll or no, yeah, I'll, I'll build the sorters first and then 
build that the stackers after the fact. Just uh, I, I want to get the sorters built and just get the mining operation up and running. And then once I start mining uh, the goods, it'll kind of become self-sufficient at that point. And then I'll, I'll just use the ore that I get from the miners in order to keep building everything else. I was trying to think where I was going to go with that. Okay. So we have two stacks of iron. I'm also going to need a bunch of iron for the shoots and stuff too that we're going to have to have. stuff all right let's grab a little bit of iron right here Then I'm also going to set up logic so our uh, coal generator will just work off of the coal that we mine from the deep miner. So yeah, the mining platform will have its own uh, sustainable power source, which is going to be pretty sweet. Alright, so I think that's probably good enough. Uh, we have a stack in the or 150 iron uh, right here, so that's probably enough for now. We actually got quite a bit of iron out of that deposit. Alright, so let's head back to base. I'm also going to need a computer and a motherboard along with a bunch of sorters. Oh my god. Stuff is going flying. All right, let's actually work on our solar panels right now. Because these things are halfway destroyed. Kind of ridiculous that you can do that, but it's better than ha actually having to use duct tape to repair it because duct tape just takes forever. Uh, 
Alright, so that should help with our power. I'm probably not going to finish all five of these, but I'm going to work on at least one or two of them. Alright, so that's done. Perfect. That's going to look good. I think we just need a bunch of steel and cable coil to finish building those if I remember correctly. Okay, I can finish I can fix these solar panels really quick. Oops. Place that there. Awesome. So let's see here. Oops. Iron ingot, I need 800. We're at 750 now. I'm going to wait till that sun goes down to smelt all this. Is there anything else in here? No, there isn't. gold and copper. Alright, I have all those. Now I have to wait just a little bit longer for it to get cool enough to where the ice won't melt. Because it's still one degree Celsius. Alright, so the ice should not melt. There we go. Perfect. So I need 10 sorters. So that's that. Invar Constantin. Let's see, where's my gold and copper at? Copper. My gold, I believe, is right here. Alright, so that's gonna be a little thing right there. Alright, let's go actually work on these things over here. Welding torch and two steel sheets required. Oh, I need a battery in here, that's why. I really need to build another um, large battery. Wait, did I seriously? Oh my god. I forgot to actually put it in my... Uh... There, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> Two cable coils, so I can make I can make three of them. Let's just make two of them for right now. I, I can work on the other guys later. Okay. And then I'm going to have to build a couple uh, centrifuges as well. Let's see. 20 iron, 5 copper for... Oh. 
All right, so let's put this steel away. All right, so the sorters are gonna go right here, because I have to have enough room for the cable. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's where the sorters are gonna go. Uh, there's 10 of them because we have iron, copper, gold, silicone, nickel, um, cobalt, lead, uranium, and there's two more that I, uh, coal, and there's one more I'm not thinking of, silver, I believe is the other one. So there's 10 different ores that we can mine. So 10 different sorters. And then we're gonna have to have a bunch of shoots and stuff to, to do this. Wait, what else do I need for that? All right, so two of our deep miners are ready to go. I think what I also need to do is I need to set up uh, solar panels up here just to get power up and running until I can make this self-sufficient. Although coal comes pretty quick, so I might just need to put a a, 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 gener a coal generator up here and just feed coal into it until the, uh, coal becomes self-sufficient enough. I think what I'll do is I'll actually build a silo right here for coal and not not really build the other silos until I absolutely need to but then I can just make an infinite loop and the coal generator will just work forever but now I just need a bunch of shoots and I also need a computer <coughs> and a bunch of cable Okay, so for a computer, I need five iron, five gold, and ten copper. Good thing I have all of that. Although I feel like I'm going to have to go out and get some more copper. computer because I'm going to set up our uh, sorter our sorter mother I need sil Ooh, silver Hunger, caution. I completely forgot about silver that hunger caution that's not good hmm I don't really know where I want to put this right now so I might just put it right here for the time being let's see what do I need for this Oh, I just needed a screwdriver to finish building it. All right, now I just need a bunch of cable to wire all this up, and then a bunch of iron for uh, shoots. Waste 
waste hand caution. Hydration critical. Okay, before I do that, let's actually go grab some water before I go in here again. There we go. I just took 20% of that. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about food right now. I think we'll be okay, but I'm still slightly worried by it. Just about done with our uh, reagent mix. Alright, so the centrifuge is going to go right here. So I think I do this. Something like that. Alright, we should have enough copper here pretty soon. I need to make like four of those guys. Let's see, I need 20 iron and 5 copper. I have enough for two centrifuges, so I technically only need three of them because I have one right here. Well, while we're waiting, let's go out and grab some more copper anyways because I'm going to have to have it. At least until I get my mining uh, platform built. Let's see, what are these resources here? Okay. Lead, I don't need any of you. I need copper is what I need. Let's go find some copper. I also need a, uh, a carbon dioxide filter too. Here, let's mine a little bit of this iron out just to get enough iron for a carbon dioxide filter or two. Granted, this is going to be more than enough for it, but. I'm just looking for copper. There's gold. Come on, there has to be copper somewhere over here. There's some copper.
Okay, we should have plenty of copper now. We shouldn't need any more copper for quite a while. Let's pick, let's pick all this up. All right, perfect. Yeah, we got about a stack and a half of copper, so that should be good. And then I need to go make a, C a CO2 filter because we're going to start suffocating here pretty quick. And then hopefully my potato plants are uh, doing good because I also need food. But my poor uh, tomato plants. Alright, there's nothing else in here, so we're good there. Okay, here's all the silicone that I mined and then accidentally mixed in with our uh, our copper. Oxygen low. Yes, I know. Oxygen critical. Yes, yes, I know. Give me a minute. Oh God. Wait. Oh, it's not hot enough, that's why. We'll use the arc furnace. Alright, let's make a filter really quick. Turn on. Thank you. Filter, CO2. We'll make two of them. And what I can do is I can smelt all of this silicone that I have. Maybe I can't. I wonder what silicone smelts at. Here, let's just throw that stuff there. Let's see here. Oops, Sili silicone, 900. Okay, so I need a little bit more heat in there. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right, I can get rid of all of these. I'm, I'm just gonna let the storms destroy them. <coughs> okay, so now that we have our Copper. I need a lot more cable, so we'll do a stack of 25, which will give us 50 cable. There we go. Alright, let's put this stuff away. I need to sort this a little bit. Yeah, let's put some stuff away while we're just hanging out. Wow, that's going quick. All right, let's go wire this up some more. We're 
We're gonna need so much cable for this. We were so close. <laughs> now that's probably enough cable, I'm hoping. And I'm, I can also get rid of that centrifuge too and place that over here, I think. Also need to make a battery as well. Have a large battery over, or just a normal uh, stationary battery, and then a coal generator is also another thing I'm going to need. Oh my gosh! Let's do that. We'll just charge that up. Okay, so let's get rid of the coal generator right here. Because this coal generator is going to come over here. Because there's going to be a stationary battery right here, and then the coal generator is going to go like right behind it. Not sure exactly where that should go though. I wonder if I have enough uh, resources to make another battery. Let's see. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna dismantle this angle grinder. Uh, hand drill. And crowbar. Okay. So I'm going to place these, I'm going to place one here, and then one up above it, I think is what I'm going to end up doing. Wrench and steel sheets. Hand uh, welding torch, okay. Well, let's do this really quick. Power critical. Yes, I know. Not really the best thing to do, but oh well. All right, let's grab a couple of these cable coils and we'll just do that. There we go. And then I'm gonna have to have a pretty interesting shoot system too, once this all gets set up. I also need 10 stackers, which is going to take forever to build, because I want to just stack all of our ore, and then what I'll probably end up doing is placing a couple of steel, f steel frames down below uh, underneath here to act as catchers. Well... I don't know, that's gonna be a... I might have to get the silos up and running too.
probably wouldn't hurt to get the silos up and running. Or I could just get rid of this whole middle section right here and just have it pile with ore. At least until I get the silos running. Because I'm going to have to have 20 gold and 10 copper plus 15 steel for each silo. Which is going gonna, gonna to take so long to, to get all that. All right, so let's go make a stationary battery while we're waiting. While we're waiting. All right, so for stationary battery, I need twenty gold, twenty copper, and twenty steel. Okay. So I have copper and I or copper and gold. And I have more than enough steel. Thankfully, I just have enough for one battery. this up here and try to figure out how I'm going to lay this out. So the battery, I think I want to go right here. And then this guy I think is just gonna go like right here. Then we'll have a cable just going like this. This this is gonna have to be a heavy cable right here. And then I'm not sure how much power this this is gonna draw. I might have to change these to heavy cables as well, but we'll get to that point. Uh, welding torch and four iron sheets. Wait, is that, that said iron sheets, right? Yeah, that's iron sheets. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna actually need these those iron sheets because. The last time I built a battery, the iron sheets uh, actually didn't get taken out of my inventory. Really? I need one more iron sheet. Well, okay. Go drink some water so that's Temperature critical. Temperature critical. harvest potato seed. I will take a potato seed. food I, I do need to get a fridge but the, my, my potatoes are doing good so I'm not too worried about food I would prefer to get like tomato soup and stuff but that's fine we're, we're surviving off of our tomatoes or potatoes I just hope I don't accidentally leave that vent on and have just blow out on me because that's what happened uh not that long ago, we had that window blow out because I left the vent on. Alright, so... Screwdriver. Alright, so they did actually fix that. The iron sheet, or the... Yeah, the iron sheets actually got were taken out of my inventory. 
All right, so I need a couple more cable and a couple heavy cables. Let's get the heavy cable up and running first. So I need two of these. One. And two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's probably enough for uh, for now. Okay. This is gonna look good. Yeah, so this generator will feed this battery, which will feed all of this. And then now what I can do is, I can't, well, not quite yet anyways. I guess I could put coal in here and actually start this thing up. And then get all these sorters at least. Uh... So this one's gonna be coal. Let's do coal, iron, copper, gold, coal, iron, copper, gold. Let's do silver, silver. Wow, can I not type? Silicon. Um, lead. Let's see what else is there. Nickel. Um, cobalt. And. Uranium. I believe that's all ten of those guys. Okay. There we go. Now I have to actually uh, sort all this out. <laughs> Let's see. Pressure Oops. Oxygen critical. All right, so this is going to take a while. There should seriously be an easier way to do this. Oh well. Oh my gosh. There probably is an easier way to do this. Okay, that's completely filled. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's 
Uh, so oh, I think I figured out how to do it. There we go. Or. <laughs> so I need coal now. Coal. Uranium. Okay. Cobalt. Did I go down too far? No, I didn't go down far enough. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is going to be cobalt. Here we go. And then we need nickel. And then we need lead. Oops. Come on. Okay, lead. And then silicone. There's so many pieces of just everything in this game. All right, so silicone, silver, gold, and copper are the last three I need. Oops. So silver. Gold. And last but not least, we have copper. Boom. All right, so that is done. So that should sort all those now. And now what I'm going to have to have are some so uh, stackers. And then I'm going to have a silo, at least for the coal just to get infinite power here. And then I'm gonna have to set up logic in order to tell this to turn on once this reaches a, or drops to a certain point. And then I also need a ungodly amount of shoots. But that's okay. And what I do wanna do is get at least one more centrifuge up and running and place it on top of this guy. I'll probably have both these, these miners going to start with. But while we're waiting, let's have our, uh, let's get a couple more centrifuges and shoots up and running. And let's do this. Okay. Um, how much iron do I have? Gold. Where is all my iron? Here it is. see so for the centrifuge I need 20 iron and 5 copper so let's do that let's do That's not what I was looking for. Yeah, that's the one I was. The combustion one would be nice to have because you get a. It, it's so much faster, but since this is just kind of a starter platform here, 
This is what we're going to start with, are just a couple of basic centrifuges. This is going to be, be so cool once it starts uh, actually working properly. Let's see, and then for stackers, I need 10 iron and 2 copper per stacker, so I need another 100 um, iron. I'm going to build it right there like that. I believe I need, yes, yeah, till sheets. Torch. There we go. Perfect. I'm not going to turn these on until I get everything set up properly. Okay, so that looks good there. I'll probably just end up turning one drill on for just to start with. Um, now I just need a ton of shoots. Let's see, how do I want to do this? So I'm going to have shoots. What I'll probably end up doing is having shoots run along the top of the sorters here. So then I, I can actually kind of walk in here a, a little bit. I don't know how that's going to work, but I guess we'll find out. And then I'll have to eventually turn these sorters on too. So let's get our stackers up and running. So I'm going to have to go out and mine for um, stackers. Although what I could do, I guess, until uh, daytime hits so I can actually see where I'm mining is I guess I can just build a bunch of shoots currently. Let's see. We want basic shoots. Three iron and the otholith or the... Okay, so I guess we'll just do it in the in here since it's... This will probably mine it or uh, make it faster. That's so much. Three iron for one shoot. There used to be one iron for one shoot. <coughs> it's so expensive now. Let's do 10 for now. That's how this is going to go. It's going to come like this. Overflow shoot like that, I suppose. Guess we'll see how this looks. It's 
something similar to that. So it should go in here. If it doesn't go in here, it'll overflow here and then automatically go in here, potentially. And then it'll just keep going in circles. At least that's kind of the goal behind this. And then I'm, I'm gonna need so many shoots. That's what, one, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty. 18, 21, 24, 26, I need at least 27 shoots right here. And that's not to mention what I'm going to need for the top layer too. Oh my god, that's so much iron. That's so much iron. I guess what I could do, because I could technically start this up. I could get some more shoots running, and then... Hmm, I'm just trying to think here for a minute. So I get more shoots running. Build a couple more shoots here, get this up and running, turn the, the drill on. Just have ore stacking. That's the only issue. No, I might as well just keep doing what I'm doing and get everything set up before I actually turn that on. Let's see, how's your potatoes doing? They're doing pretty good. see I just need I just need more iron that's what I need um, before I go out mining again though I need to drink some water eat some food Let's see how are you doing harvest potato plant nope I am not gonna harvest you I'm gonna let you seed and then I'll harvest you thriving and thriving okay perfect remember to turn this off there we go I'm gonna put you away too because I don't actually need you anymore Okay, so let's go mining. Yeah, I can't wait till I no longer have to go mining. It's going to be so nice. Yeah, the only thing I'll really have to go mine for are uh, gases, like um, oxide, volatiles, and ice for water. the sensor lenses too. Alright, so we have some silicone there. I don't need silicone. I have a lot of silicone. Looking for iron is what I'm looking for. I'll, iron and let, um, I'll grab some copper too if I see it. If I see it. I still haven't seen any copper. That's why I have that. I thought I thought my base was that way. It's that way. There's some copper, so we'll grab some copper since we have it right here. All right, there's gonna be quite a bit of copper here. a whole lot of it well actually for the uh, for the silos I kind of need quite a bit of it I need uh, at least a hundred copper for those silos and I need 200 gold 
for all ten silos to hold all the ores that I mine. It'll definitely be worth it though, because then, then I won't have to go on uh, a bunch of mining trips like this. I need four stacks of coal or gold. That's insane. Well, we might get our two stacks of uh, copper right here. If I can get more, that'd be preferable, but I'll, I'll be happy with two stacks. And we also have some gold over here, too. Air tank low. I'm not too worried about the gold, though. Air tank, uh-oh. Uh, where is my base at? All right, it's this way. Yeah, we're gonna go back to base because my air tank's gonna um, drain here pretty quick. I don't see resources anywhere. That's not normal. That, I, I just don't think they're spawning. I think they're there, they're just not spawning in. And so I can't see them. There's my base, though. Alright, so... 10 iron, 2 copper for the stackers. I have plenty of copper for the stackers. I just need the iron. Let's see... This is enough to cook the, the the copper. Okay, so that's that. Let's see, I need what silo or sort of stackers. I have I need the stackers. Hmm, air. I was wondering why I came back over here. There we go. Alright, now let's go find some more iron. And then I'll probably call this episode here pretty soon. Um, this is... spent most of the time out here mining, which I knew I was going to do, but I, I... we actually did get quite a bit done in terms of getting that uh, mining platform up and running. I could technically turn it on right now, but I want to actually get the chutes and everything uh, properly set up before I turn it on, just so everything everything gets sorted properly. So we'll probably end up turning it on in the next episode. I might do some mining in, mining in between episodes just to get all the resources I need. I don't know. I, I haven't decided. Give me all the iron. Wait, was that coal? That was coal. I don't really want coal right now. I want iron. There should be iron over here somewhere. Isn't there? I just mined completely past it. <laughs> there we go. There's all the iron I was looking for. Okay. I just need a bunch of iron. Well, two stacks of iron. I just need a hundred iron for those stackers. Yeah, 
And I can always use some more coal now that I think about it for that uh, coal generator. Just because once I turn those miners on and everything, it's going to take up a lot of power. So if I have some coal handy, at least until it becomes self-sustaining, we should be fine. Come on, I just need a little bit more iron. This is a good spot for steel, apparently. Just a bunch of coal and iron over here. But I don't actually need steel at the moment. I will eventually though, but by that time our mining platform will be finished and I'll have all the steel I'll ever need. Which I can't wait for. Alright, so let's just mine out this little section over here and then hopefully we get enough iron from this node. I need one more iron. There's our one iron. Alright. So we'll go smelt this, and then I'll make 10 stackers, I'll place those, and then I'll probably call this episode here. Eventually our mining platform will start uh, becoming operational, and that's going to be absolutely amazing, because then we'll just have infinite ore, and we won't have to worry about going out and uh, getting resources, we'll just have resources just there, which will be pretty sweet. Power low. Okay. Let's see. How hot is this? I don't think it's hot enough to actually smelt iron, but that's okay. Our potato plants are looking good, though. All right, so let's go sort some of our gases here. Alright, so apparently I need um, oxide. There, we'll do that. There it goes up. Alright, that's about to blow up. I think we're good. I think we're good. That pressure got a little bit too high right there. Woo, that was close. Yeah, that was just about to be really bad. We're going to let that vent a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we almost just blew up right there. All right, so let's make a few stackers. So I need 10 of these. And I can make 11 or 12 of them. So, yeah, we're going to do this. And then it's uh, two copper, so I need only 20 copper. Wow, 
It's like nothing. Alright. So then once all 10 stackers are made, I'll place them up over here. Um, and then I'll probably call this episode as long as my uh, furnace doesn't blow up. Yeah, that could have been bad. I, I That almost blew up on us. Alright, water's getting low again. What's new? Only four more. I can't wait to turn that mining platform on. It's gonna look great. That now all I need is a bunch of iron for shoots. What I'll probably do is I'll uh, calculate how many I actually need in between episodes, and maybe what I'll do is just go mine that, just so I can speed it up a little bit. But all right. There we go. So the stackers are gonna go like this. In between them like that. All right, and then the silos are gonna go right, net, right uh, up next against the stackers. And then it should just hold in a crazy amount of ore for us. So I think I'm going to call this episode here. This is looking good so far. Um, I can't wait to get this thing turned on. And then we'll just have an infinite supply of ore. So we'll get everything except for ices. So we won't get like um, nitrous, oxide, volatiles, or just normal ice from them. But we will get everything else. So that's going to be pretty sweet once we get this up up and running. Um, it's been kind of a slower episode. I spent most of my time mining and just getting this all set up. But next episode, I have a feeling that we're actually going to be able to turn this on. So I can't wait for that. Um, our, our little starter base here is doing really good. We did blow this window out, unfortunately, because I accidentally left that vent on over there. But that's fine. Um, our potatoes are good, our tomatoes are growing, so we have food, we have oxygen, we have all the basic necessities that we need. This almost blew up, which was a little scary, but... Yep, in the next episode I'm going to finish the mining platform, get that turned on, and then we'll start... Well, keep building our main base. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.